part, we were given three choices. Kill Trevor, kill Michael, or have a death wish on him. Death on him. Have a hit on him, pretty much. And not kill either one of them. I picked the third choice. I don't want to kill either one. I love Michael. I like Trevor. They're both cool peeps. Uh, I don't see Michael as a style. I, I mean, sure, from the point of view of the robber, he did, but... With a family, what, what, what would you expect? I would do the same exact thing if I had a family, even though the family is a pain in the a-hole. Um, yeah, and Trevor is just, I don't know, he's fun. There he is! Where are we going? So, we, uh, uh, head to the foundry place. Hey, look, hear me out, man. If it's too heavy for you, you can back out. No drama. Hit me with it. Man, we got a real problem, dog. My boys, man. Well, we trying to save them. You actually doing something for your homies for a change? Hell yeah, I'm in. Who want to clap your homies? Who don't, nigga? These Chinese dudes, some FIB cats, the rich white asshole who scammed us on them cars. Devin Weston? That punk bitch? Why didn't you say we was creeping on him? We ain't creeping on him, nigga. Motherfucker. Creeping on him, nigga. At least I don't think he gonna be there. We gotta take all the heat he can throw at us before we worry about how we coming back on his ass. But you is coming back, right? Oh, hell yeah, we creeping on that fool. Oh, so you ain't the mercurial motherfucker you frontin' ass, huh? Man, I'm just trying to make something out of myself, dawg. That don't change who my homies are, nigga. It don't change my family. Shit, nigga, you getting me all emotional now. Nigga might have to stop me from sucking your dick, nigga. Oh, please, nigga, fuck off. <laughs> Man, every fool in this town got somebody who want them clap. Yeah, but that applies to some fools more than others. I heard that. Nigga, I'm talking about you. Hey. Ain't that the truth. But ain't nobody pissed off as many motherfuckers as Michael and Trevor, dawg. Shit, nigga, you play big, you stand to lose. Yeah, ain't that the truth. Look, man, Mike on Trevor, they should be inside. Can you stay out here and let us know when the bad dudes is coming? I got it, man. I'll holler at you. position right there. Okay. I'm gonna go over there.
They're mine! Hey, we'll get through this! I got the drop on him! We were waiting for you! Where's the goal? I don't see it! They keep coming! Are we clear? Yeah, all clear, Frank. We're clear inside. Move into the exits. 
fuck is going on out here? A shit show. We keep putting them down until they stop pulling up. Full station. I got this guy. For now? Exactly, for now. So, what's next, huh? Are we just gonna wait around until someone else comes to kill us? Or are we gonna wait till this fucker gets turned again? Oh, fight me. Ain't anybody getting turned again, and you know it. Hey, man, the way I see it, we only just begun to clean this shit up. We got a lot of old friends I think need to be re-educated. A lot of friends. I mean, things could get really messy. No, we just gotta silence a few noisy people. Well, <laughs> yeah, let me see. There's, uh... Steve Haynes. Dave Norton. No, we need him alive. Why? So nobody fucks with us afterwards. What about that tribe, motherfucker? The one that think you two boys is dating? Shit, you know he bound to come back. Yep, there's that. Well, who's the, uh, the guy who set up Lamar? Hmm? Stretch? We want to throw him in? Shit, Trevor throw anyone in just to satisfy his bloodlust. Whoa! Hey! <laughs> It's called a fucking loose end, all right? Now, if we're gonna be men of peace and tranquility, we tie up loose ends. Oh, man, stretch has been a liability. But they were gonna have to take care of our old pals, Devin Weston and Steve Haynes. Oh, fuck, what a mess, man. Well, let's get it cleaned up. How about you get Lester on the line? Who is this? Stop calling this number. Hey, it's me, dawg. <laughs> You're alive. I thought someone might have your phone. No, nah, no, nah, but look, I got you on speakerphone. Oh, did Mike make it? Yeah, I'm here. And the other one? <clears throat> See you putting the ground, Wheels! Uh-huh. You, um, just calling for a chat? No, we got some work to do. Can you get us some whereabouts? Oh, I'll do my best. Who? Steve Haynes, to start. And Devin Weston's ass. And, uh, Wei Ching! W-E-I-C-H-E-N-G! Wei Chang! Wei Chang! And Franklin's pal, Stretch! Huh. Stretch? Yeah, man, look, his real name is Harold Joseph. Okay, well, I can tell you that Agent Haynes is taping a show over on Del Perro Pier. Shooting permit came up immediately. Shut it! Oh, I wanted to ice that fucker since the moment I met him. All right. 
right, all right. Ah, I got a signal from Mr. Harold Joseph's phone over at the B.J. Smith Recreation Center. No, I got him. I got him. Let's keep him clear of uh, known associates. All right, thanks, dog. You got it. What you got for me? Tao Ching's credit card just bought a Magnum at the beach club in Pacific Bluffs. Okay, I'll go ask his ass about his punk ass dad. When I find Mr. Weston, I'll send the coordinates. All right, good. Let's do this shit. That was above and beyond, homie. Ain't nothing above and beyond when it comes to the homies, homie. <laughs> A nigga just want to be helpful, you heard me? I'm serious, dawg. That's hood. Mike gonna travel, too. We grateful. You a real homie, and I love you, dawg. You too, homie. You done with this bullshit now? Almost. A couple of loose ends. Aw, oh, shit. I know that voice. You creeping on some fools, huh? All right, nigga, we'll handle your candle. Lay low, my nigga.
I got out clean. You dudes ain't gonna have no more triads coming out. We ain't gonna have anyone to sell super weapons to either, but hey ho! Who's up? We still gotta do stretch and Agent Haynes. Stretch? He ain't a problem no more, Frank. Shit, he wasn't my pal. He was a dude who jacked us, homie. Thanks. So who we got, man? What happens next is plant Steve Haynes in the dirt. Moving on Haynes. Les, see if you can patch me into his radio mic. I want a last reminder of what an annoying prick he is. Los Santos. A city of saints. A city of sinners. And nothing in between but the FIB. Cut! God, this is crap! Who writes this bullshit anyway? Okay, all right. You got this framed right? Yeah, you're looking great. Is the chin? How's the chin? Oh, sharp. All right, the audio's clean? Nice. Uh, well, say something. Uh, check, check, check. Yeah, it's great. Okay, fine. We're on. I'm ready. You ready? Speed. All right, let's do this, people. I'm a professional. Let's go. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Steve Haynes. Hi. A city of celluloid. A city... You 
got a unique... Oh my god! The guy! What's his name? He shot him! Requesting backup for a 
have yourself to blame. Look who it is!
Sorry, man. I was sending a text. It is real. I repeat, God's it is real. Suspicious person, you mean? Come 
we are from the faster team. Whoa, Damn it! You messed with the wrong man. Ass. I just put down half your outfit back in town. Wait, wait, hear me out! Ugh. No more talking! Mr. Weston, let's take him out of the city, make him disappear. Meet me on the cliffs off the GOA, Chiliad Mountain State Wilderness. Zen cock! What? You know, you're, you're a resourceful guy getting past those crazy killers. I need someone like you in my organization. The CEO position's gonna be vacant real soon, Slick. I've got nothing against you, apart from the obvious hygiene issue. Michael caused me problems, so Michael had to go! You're looking at it rationally! There are people who are useful to you and people who ain't, and the people who ain't gotta go! Me? I'm not rational. I don't care if you're useful or not. I feel like taking you out, Devo. So that's what I'm doing. This is a serious offer. Work for me, you'll have everything you'll ever wanted. All I've ever wanted is to watch you drift in and out of consciousness as you're slowly disemboweled. Yes, yes, that's the kind of creativity I need on my team. Come on, come on, let me out of here. Look, I got my own company, Trevor Phillips Industries. Oh yeah, a fellow entrepreneur. Let me buy a stick and give you money to grow. I don't know if you heard, but I'm kind of gold rich right now, so you got precisely nothing to offer. Prepare for the end, my friend. I don't lose! I'm making a personal injury claim. Stop right now! My friends won't be happy if I empty a clip into the trunk.
Yo, check this out. They drinking bitches. I went to a restaurant and some geisha has an audacity yeah. to hand me a hot yeah. towel. She thinks I should this take This is why the people I put in my truck are usually I dead. It. It's a fucking insult. And then she tries to give me some shit called edamame. Those are damn soybeans. You ain't fooling me. Ten of them little fuckers and they want to charge you five dollars. What do you think? Here we are, Slick. With a few minutes for some one-on-one -on -one time. Hey, we good, T? Never better, amigo. Uh, Franklin? I'll be here. <laughs> Franklin. Hey, right, what's up? I assume you got him? Ooh, safe and sound. Oh. Ain't that right, buddy? <laughs> hey, my bad, homie. I picked C. Ain't that a bitch? You know, Devin, the way I see it, and hey, I'm no intelligent businessman like you, but the way I see it, there's two great evils that bedevil American capitalism of the type that you practice. Number one is outsourcing. You paid a private company to do your dirty work for you, and then you underpaid that company because you thought you were big enough and bad enough that you didn't have to play by the rules. Oh, number two. Offshoring your profits. Offshore? Oh, it's horrible. You wouldn't want to be sent offshore just to save a little money, would you, T? Oh, no, Franklin? I wouldn't. Oh, no, I ain't would going you want? nowhere. No, see, but we know your opinions on the matter, Devin. Keep your problems the fuck out of America, huh? <laughs> In this instance, when he puts it like that, it makes sense. Of course it does. Hey, Devin, goodbye, my old friend. Thanks for all the advice. Bye-bye. So now what? Now we keep a low profile and get on with our lives. As friends. Well, do I have a choice? No, not really. All right, then. As, uh, flawed, awful, totally uncomfortable, and poorly matched friends. Absolutely. Oh, that's perfect. Then we can get back to the kind of capitalism we practice. Shit, I don't know how much more better that is than Devin's con. Ooh, hypocrisy, Franklin. Civilization's greatest virtue. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. I know, I still hate myself. But hey, at least I know the words for it now. Yeah, but I hate you, and I know the words for it. So does that mean I don't have to go to therapy? Look, man, you two motherfuckers terrify me of that middle age. I'm good. You're right to be afraid, Franklin. Yeah. Be very afraid, Franklin. One thing, T. I'm getting too old for this nonsense. Oh, oh, it's a setup, it's a setup.